If you've been wondering what it takes to get glam as a wedding guest, then you've come to the right channel. We start off with moisturizer and this Nivea moisturizer is good for face and body. It also has SPF 15 and it is lightweight so it wouldn't clog your pores and it is the perfect moisturizer under makeup. I also like to go in with a glue stick to stick down my eyebrows but this step is totally optional. You can skip it and just move on to your face. Using a face primer that works perfectly for oily combination or dry skin, I'll be using the face primer from Mismetics and this is the aqua grip primer i apply it generously all over my face except under my eyes now i'll be using the zikel even true foundation in shade 25 and i always use just two pumps i spread that on my face use a damp beauty sponge and then i spray my face this step is totally optional you can just go in with your damp beauty sponge not wet damp make sure you squeeze out all the water and then it will swell up and it will be soft enough to blend out your foundation perfectly as you can see i only tap i do not drag it tapping helps give you full coverage and if you use the perfect shade you'd see how perfectly it blends close to your hairline close to your ears and that's a beautiful blend to highlight my face i like to use the zikel skin fit concealer in the shade istanbul or new york and i use it to apply under my eyes my forehead nose bridge chin and cupid bow area and then i also go in to apply my liquid blush while i am blending that liquid blush it allows the concealer to sit and give me fuller coverage when i come to blend it now what i love about this wedge sponge is the fact that it has multiple sides to it and it is perfect for blending foundation blush and concealer just look how i turned another side and went in to blend my concealer i started off by blending the mustache area i'm also going to go in and blend other areas before i go to the under eyes because that's the last part i like to blend i like to give that concealer some time to sit which is why i like using concealers that do not dry out quickly like beauty by ad la girl or Zikel Skin Fit Concealers. They have second skin concealer, but this is the one that is most forgiving. Now I'll be using my favorite setting powder from Flawless Ivy Cosmetics. And as per my previous video, I know you guys probably missed it, but I explained that this new step of blending and setting your under eye would save your makeup. I mean, there will be no crease line in sight for hours. After you've let your concealer sit, you blend that one eye alone. Make sure that there is absolutely no crease line and then you go in with setting powder and set that eye. Make sure you do all this while looking up and you will see such a difference. If you go and blend the other eye before you come back to set, you might notice that there will be crease lines but when you do one eye after the other you blend and set and watch the magic that happens look how beautifully that came out i'm going to repeat on this other side you blend and then you set and then you make sure that you are tapping in the setting powder in little bits do not go and bake from the beginning no. don't pack plenty powder just go with little little bits and make sure you press it in until it disappears you can always come back and bake later set the rest of your face and do not forget your eyebrows and then your nose bridge your mustache area your smile lines most importantly on that day you're going to smile a lot laugh a lot greet a lot so you don't want any crease lines anywhere now i am going in with my face powder from zikel cosmetics and this is in the shade cafe look how flawlessly that blended into my skin if it doesn't disappear into your skin it is not your shade it's not your shade so make sure you use something that disappears into your skin for a more flawless look i'm just going in to set places that i did not set with setting powder which is the sides of my nose my forehead my jawline and the rest of my face now i'm going in with this contour kit from classic and this is typically where i would contour right underneath the blush and i'm going to be using this zikel eyeshadow palette in collaboration with makeup by favor i like to use this shade as my blush and you can go ahead and use a blush actually but i just like this one because it is very convenient and now i'm moving on to the brows this is going to my spoolie and this will be my brow pencil just make sure that it is sharp and you're good to go now i'm just going to trace out and outline the shape that i want i'll do that on the bottom and i'll trace the same shape at the top now i'm just going to go in and fill in my eyebrow i like to go on a bit heavy handed at the outer eye corner and then i feather the front next step is to use a spoolie brush to blend out the front of the eyebrow 
and then i go in with brown eyeshadow from beauty by ad because this is a true brown it is not dark it is not light and i set my eyebrow before i apply eyebrow gel because i just want it to stay in place and not move throughout the day using this concealer from house of tara and a flat brush today is not flat round though it is a flat razor cut brush i made sure that it is flat enough and i coated both sides and i just went softly to follow the line i had already drawn to bring it and highlight it a little bit more and as soon as i get to the arc area i'm just going to turn the brush so that it fits and then it carves the eyebrow perfectly i think that you can use basically any brush to cover out your eyebrow so long as it is sharp and it is razor flat i think it can do the job you just have to practice and you'll be good at anything with any tool at all the trick with eyebrows is not forcing anything do not over press your brush do not over press your pencil do not over press anything just light strokes soft strokes here and there i'm using the same concealer as my eyeshadow base and i'm blending it out using this fluffy dense brush just to make sure that there are no crease lines and it will be perfectly ready for eyeshadow application after placing setting powder under my eyes i'm going to use that baby pink shade and the black shade from this eyeshadow palette beauty by ad and i'm going to go in with the baby pink shade as my transition shade notice how i kept alternating brushes but i just really needed one one nice tapered blending brush just to make sure that i bring depth to my eyes and i keep going back with that brush i blended concealer with to make sure that there are no crease lines before i apply eyeshadow next i'm going in with black and the black is just at the outer eye corner that's why i'm focusing the pigment anyway and i keep opening my eyes to make sure that i am not far above my crease i don't want to carry it to my brow bone i want it to look um daytime appropriate so i'm making sure to now drag the remaining of that black shadow inward and then using a fluffy blending brush i'm just going to use the light pink shade to give it a nice final blend before i go in with the pigments for the eyelid i mix the shades pelumi and irene to get the champagne gold shade i wanted you can always use the champagne gold if you have just the shade as i approach the top of my eyelid i just make sure not to supersede where i apply the transition shade because hooded eyes can get crazy if you apply too much shimmery pigment and i just always make sure to go in and check and make sure that i have not passed any of my boundaries i went at a pinkier effect so i went in with this loose pigment from ea beauty and this brand has closed down anyway they sold everything to beauty line by dd so i think you can get from there for me fingers apply pigments better now i am using a precise brush and i'm applying black to my lower lash line and i used pink to blend it out and i'm not a fan of eyeliner but i just like to apply a thin layer of the eyeliner on my top lash line just to help my lashes have something to sit on and here come the luxurious eyelashes from mismetics and i'm using my favorite eyelash glue from classic to coat the lash band while that dries down i'm going to use nyx jumbo pencil on my waterline apply mascara to my top lashes and once this mascara dries down you can go in and pull them straight i like to do this because i have curly lashes and doing this helps your false lashes stay close to your lash line as possible now because we applied some setting powder to catch fallout we are sweeping it off flawlessly and then going in with some setting spray before highlighter now this is a liquid highlighter from zikiel cosmetics in their collaboration with guinica and i like to apply it with a sponge or a brush on my cheeks and afterward i'm going to set with a powder highlighter from doll beauty and it is called the doll light duo i'll be using the golden one and i'm just going to apply a little amount because a little goes a long way and afterward i'm just going to apply it on my forehead my chin my cupid's bow and my nose bridge not really the nose bridge bridge just the tip of the nose and then the bridge between the eyes because you know we don't do that total nose bridge highlighting anymore now no matter how little you think your lashes are mascara will make a whole world of difference just go in there and you will see what the difference will look like 
now i'm using this lipstick from classic it is called outer space and it is a nice ashy brown and after i use it to outline the top of my lips i'll do the same thing to the bottom and then i use a lip brush to blend the harsh lines before i go in with the other colors matte lipsticks can be tricky if you don't blend them at the get-go you will suffer you will suffer the results will be ugly now i'm going to go in with this lipstick palette and i'll go in with the brown the nude and the pink in the center now i'm going in with the brown first after applying it just close to the dark brown i'll smack my lips and then i'm going with the nude and while you're doing this make sure that your lips are not too moisturized with lip lip balm or anything just make sure that they are just right then i'm going to go in with the pink in the center i said that because this lipstick is not completely matte so you want to make sure that there's nothing oily that will break it down from under if it is too oily use tissue to reduce the excess oil and your lipstick will come out perfectly and do not get tired of smacking your lips until you have the most perfect results i believe we are down to the end of this video and this is the final look i went on to wear a wig because i didn't film this on the day i attended the wedding but this is exactly how i'm going to look but the difference is with gilly and ashwabi let me know if you'll be trying out this look and let me know if you learned anything new make sure to check out any of my previous videos and also ensure to subscribe before you leave thank you so much for stopping by again and i'll see you in my next video Bye!